12th station of the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our reading from St. Mark's Gospel. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lemath, Sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly this man was God's son. Truly this man was God's son. Strange that this most immediate and orthodox response to Jesus' death should come from one of his executioners, an anonymous soldier, likely hundreds of miles from home, swept up into the military machinery of Rome and given this great, this weighty, this sorrowful privilege to stand in this moment at the center of the world and at the center of all time. Strange too, we might say, that this sudden realization, this hearty confession of the might of God should come from a Gentile and at the moment of this God's earthly death. Bled out and suffocated, the world's savior breathes his last largely unnoticed. The bloodthirsty condemning crowds largely tired of their sport and long dispersed gone home for lunch, perhaps, leaving only his dearest, some curious voyeurs, and this attendant centurion. The whole city must have noticed the ominous change in the weather. But then perhaps it was a dust storm, they said. Few were in a position to connect things up as the centurion was doing quick theological work on his part to connect that absolutely shattering cry of dejection and abandonment. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me with the fulfillment of God's plan? Quite a theological insight indeed. 10 points to St. Stephen's house. For a soldier brought up on foreign gods, perhaps on the helmeted, bull-slaying Mithras. This was hardly a proclamation of divinity. But then perhaps there was no one riper or more appropriate than God's accidental executioner to recognize the devastating hold that sin had on humanity and to appreciate in that moment to what lengths the heavens had gone to reach down and unmesh us from the snares of sin. The Stations of the Cross is a difficult devotion. And at this moment, particularly, we might find ourselves upset in tears. Tears at the tragic scene before us, that kindly, beautiful, gentle Jesus dying horrifically untimely. Tears too, as our hearts begin to sense the ways in which we've contributed to a world in which this terrible scene could happen. And well might we examine ourselves. This bloody scene might be a thousand miles from anything that we've done wrong, but the unkind words, the not letting go, the pushing of ourselves forwards, our little negligences and forgetfulnesses, 
the people we forget to phone back. These two help build and consolidate the world that suffocated our savior. So examine and amend, yes. But also take heart at this centurion, who in this great cry of recognition was responding not to some theological system or set of propositions, nor to some mighty display of power, but to an extraordinary manifestation of love. He witnessed that last breath now, then, and we relive it now, through the painful awareness of sin and through tears. Let us know, though, that nothing can separate us from the love that was shown on that cross, if only we stand before it and reach out to it. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Nor do you so love the world that you gave us your only son to die on a cross so that we might live. Help us to take that love to our hearts, to live in relationship with you and in love and in peace with all. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen.